Hey guys, today we're going to talk about off-grid battery bank conservation. Hey everybody, Dave Knetter here from Knetter's Practical Outdoors. And you know, I never really thought of myself as somebody that would have an off-grid tiny house. Uh, it never really seemed like something that would fit my lifestyle. But uh, you know, the more I thought about it, and you know, I did some soul searching about it, I, I finally came to the realization that uh, that's what my deer camp is. Um, you know, my, my deer camp is an off-grid tiny house and that I've, I've actually had one all along. So that was kind of weird. But uh, anyways, whether you call it a house, whether you call it a deer camp, whether you're there year round, whether you're there, uh, you know, just in the fall, uh, if you have a battery bank with an inverter package, um, you're going to want to uh, minimize the use on that battery bank. So today I thought I'd give you guys a few tips on uh, how to conserve on your battery power. And uh, we'll start with the inverter. Here's the inverter. And there's a lot of different styles and types of inverters. But one thing I wanted to point out is a lot of inverters have what they call sleep mode. And what that is, is when it's not sensing any load, when, when it's not calling to, to make power, when it's not being called to make power, it just kind of sits by on idle. And, and I'll show you what I mean. I am turning it on, but it is still in the sleep mode right now. It doesn't sense any load. So it's not really coming on and making power yet. But what I'll do, I'll come over to this light. I'm going to flip this light on. And you can hear the inverter kick on. The light stopped blinking. Now it's making power. So it's no longer in the sleep mode. I'll shut the light back off. It's still making power. It's, it's still not in the sleep mode till now. Now it's back in the sleep mode. And that's really important, especially when it comes to any kind of electronics that you might be charging overnight, um, any kind of electronics that you might have plugged in overnight. Even if they're not on, like a TV or, or maybe a CD player or radio, they still might be using small amounts of electricity, which would keep this inverter from going into its sleep mode. So what you want to do is that stuff that you're not using at night, you really want to unplug it. Uh, don't let any little phantom currents keep your inverter from going into sleep mode at night or when you're just not using anything else. So what you want to do if you have to charge your phone is you want to plug that phone in when the inverter is already on anyways. When you've got a light on, when you're watching TV or doing something else like that. That's when you want to charge your phone. Don't do it overnight when everything else is off because now that inverter won't go to sleep and you're going to wind up using a lot more power than you had to just to charge your phone up. Here's an example of an old TV that you don't want to use. A little TV like this you'd be surprised it might be kind of a, an energy hog. What you want to use is a more energy efficient flat screen TV like this one and always unplug it when you're not using it. Even when the TV is not on, it still is sitting there waiting for a signal from the remote to come on. So it does use a little bit of electricity even when it's not actually on. So again, this would be an example of uh, if you left this TV plugged in overnight, it might uh, not allow that inverter to go into its sleep mode and use energy unnecessarily. And, uh, you know, here's kind of an old technology way to conserve on your battery usage. Uh, for all you coffee drinkers out there, you absolutely do not want to use electric coffee makers if you're off the grid. They're, they're big energy hogs. What you want to do is go with one of these old school uh, coffee makers. Um, put the grounds in here. Pour some hot water on top. Cap it up might want to set it on the uh, on the wood stove or, or maybe uh, just light up a burner for a little bit uh, to keep it nice and warm and and that's how you want to make your coffee you do not want to use an electric coffee maker uh, that 
that's that's just a complete no-no and here's a new technology way to save a lot of uh, energy use from your battery bank going with these LED bulbs uh, as you can see here this is a 60 watt equivalent but it really only uses 9 watts where these old style bulbs a 60 watt bulb actually uses 60 watts um, you can see here these bulbs are 840 lumens this is 800 lumens um, you know very similar but this bulb only uses about one-sixth of the energy that these use so that's going to save a lot of load uh, on your battery bank especially if you put them throughout your off-grid house or your camp um, so this is a real good way uh, to minimize the energy use on your off-grid battery bank. So keep these tips in mind to conserve on the power usage of your off-grid battery bank, right? You want to, uh, you know, unplug all electronics, you know, especially at night. You might not realize it, but you're, uh, you're not letting that inverter go into sleep mode. So always unplug all the electronics whenever you're not using them. And again, especially at night, don't leave your phone plugged in overnight. It's not going to let that inverter go into sleep mode, so that's a no-no. Always plug your phone in when you're already using some load, when that inverter is already on making power. It'll, it'll save you some power usage. And, uh, you know, go with the LED bulbs again. Uh, it's going to be a real energy savings for you. And go out and uh, pick up one of those old-school coffee makers uh, from a thrift store. Um, that, that's going to work real well for you, too. And, you know, I know a lot of people, uh, they're, they're kind of uh, nervous about going off the grid. They, you know, they, they believe it's too hard to go off grid. But, uh, you know, my buddy Ronnie Camaro, um, he didn't pay his electric bill for several months. And the power company came and they disconnected him. And so he was off grid. And, you know, he was off grid for like, I think, a couple months until his parents paid the electric bill. So, it, you know, it's a lot easier than you think to go off-grid, you know. So, remember this. Hunt, fish, laugh, repeat. This is Dave Knetter from Knetter's Practical Outdoors. Thanks for watching and God bless.